Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship the King of Kings. Let God be praised forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. <laughs> Child of God, you are winning anyway. When I, I when I got this message, I was just smiling. I said, wow. To the glory of God in all of that that have happened, in all of what is going on, in all of what is still about to happen, in the midst of it all, child of God, you are winning. Yes, you are not losing at all. You know, there are people who never really wanted you to win at all. When you look at how they were laughing, how they were just doing things, you are like, ah, of a truth, can I win? The Bible recorded that with him, it is possible. With him, you can win. With him, you can be better. Yes, no matter the brokenness, no matter the pain, no matter what happened in life. One with God is majority. Glory to Jesus. One with God is majority. You know, there are sometimes the enemy will even manipulate people against you. Whenever, like, you want to win. I've been in that situation. I know, I know how you feel. Like you are planning to get something important, you want to make improvement in life, you want to be better, you want to grow, you will see that the people who you were even looking up, looking at like, oh, these ones are different, you will see that the enemy will enter them and start using them. That was why the Lord told me a few days ago, I was passing through some things and I was like, God, who will speak for me? And why I was so downcasted, I was thinking about it, like, where should I go from here? And I hear the Lord said, I am the highest advocate, you know. The moment I hear that word, though I was battling with it, I was trying to laugh. What is I'm the highest advocate? And I'm like, no, how will I go to this place? How will I do this? How can I do this without this, without that, you know? Why are people being manipulated against the children of God? Whenever they want to get something, whenever they want to be settled, you know, the devil will just use the people who are supposed to be helping you. To start fighting you. I was asking the Lord and God told me, I am the highest advocate. So I am trying to use this prophecy as well to encourage somebody. You might be asking yourself, why did my lawyer turn on me? Why did my friends let me down? Why did church turn against me? Why did somebody who was supposed to be by my side is not the one against me? Child of God, all of that, in all of that, you will still win. I want you to know that God is the highest advocate you know since when god told me that word though sometimes when i look at a situation as a human being i feel like ah is it going to be but i i just said where well, god said he's the highest advocate so wherever i go he will advocate for me hallelujah the bible says, he that creepeth israel neither sleep nor slumber so that god does not sleep of a truth child of god they never wanted you to win but any way you want Anyway, you are still going to keep winning in life because without them, you will still win. There is a God in heaven who fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. You know, there is a parable that says a cow that does not have a tail. When there is ants in his body or flies in his body and he cannot use the tail to drive it, it is God that help the cow, the animal to drive those flies away. Hallelujah. To drive those insects away glory to jesus so anyone who does not have anyone as long as you have god you have everything that you need you know the day that you realize that god is everything that you have that is the day that you know that you have everything that you need glory to jesus they never wanted you to win <clears throat> but you won without them you are winning without them and now they are feeling jealous because they felt that you were not supposed to win. Man does not have the final say when it comes to your life. I pray for you, child of God. May the light of God continue to shine upon you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.